What's up guys, Jimmy Ray GDA here, back with another episode of Kadawa Shouju. Um, there was a little bit of delay and I should turn my fan off because it's probably picking it up in my microphone. But, um, we're back with another episode of Katawa Shouju. Um, I'm actually really liking this game. I, uh, I played a bit off screen, uh, trying to like figure out which route I want to take and I think I want to go with either Hanako's or uh, Shizne's route first. I'll probably end up going with uh, Shizne's first because that's the one I'm most feel familiar with. I don't know the ending but I know how to get to the point where um, uh, Shizne's route is uh, towards the end. So, we're going to probably end up taking Shizne first. But I know everybody loves Hanako's route. Um, so, I don't know. I'll figure out something. Whatever of my concern shows, it's ignored. We all understand that your education is paramount, however. I don't think that it's wise for you to be, with, uh, be without supervision. At least, and not not until we're sure that your medication is suitable. So, um, there was a part cut out. Uh, I could go back to it, um, but uh, it was just like a like a thing talking about his house medication and that they're going to be sending him to a different school than his old school. So you didn't miss out on much. I'm sorry, I just mess that up. So I've spoken to your parents about a transfer. Just, that's where he's talking about. They're going to a new school. It's a school called Yamaku Academy that specializes speci special <coughs> that specializes in dealing with disabled students. Hisao, you're a cripple. <laughs> Disabled? What? Am I a... Crippled? <laughs> it has a 24-hour nursing staff that is only a few minutes a few minutes from a highly regarded general hospital. The major, majority of the students live on the campus. That's where you'll be living, you so. That's where you live. Think of it as a boarding school of sorts. It's designed to give students a degree of independence while keeping help nearby. Yep. I, I, I can't think of any jokes. I'm kind of tired. Also, I should turn the music down just a little bit. I, I don't know how loud the music is. Alright, there we go. Independence? It's a school for disabled kids. Don't try to disguise that fact. If it was really that free, there wouldn't be a 24-hour nursing staff. And you wouldn't make a hospital being near uh, being nearby as a selling point. I, I went into his voice. This is dad. What voice am I going to give him? Should I give his dad, like, a very weak voice, like, uh, Of course, uh, that's only if you want to go, but your mother and I uh, uh, aren't really able to homeschool you. We went out there and had a look at a, a couple weeks back. I think you'd like it. Is it just like, is it the Playboy Mansion? Because I'm pretty sure his owl's not going to like it, if it unless it's the Playboy Mansion. It sounds very awkward person. It looks like I really don't have a choice. Compared to the other heart problems people with your condition usually tend to live long lives. You'll need a job one day and this is a good opportunity to continue your education. This isn't opportunity. Don't call it opportunity. Call it a... I, I, I'm not sure. 
I'm not sure um, about the rules or uh, anything about the upgrade channel. So I'm not gonna... I keep hearing a hissing sound. I don't know what's that. Uh, so I'm not gonna attempt that and have the other guys getting mad at me and end up deleting my video. Um, also, <laughs> this is really weird because uh, I want to keep this um, at least PG. So towards the end of the game, I might have to start uh, censoring some stuff um, or just cut it out of the video, but I think it'd be more fun hearing me be really, really uncomfortable. So yeah, I'm not. I'm gonna leave a lot of that stuff out because I don't know about the rules on this channel, and I know that I'm not gonna be able to upload uh, the parts towards the end on YouTube. So let's move on. Well, you should be excited at the chance to go back to school. I remember you wanted to return to school. And while it's not the and while it's not the same one, a special school that's an institute. That is what I, w I want to say. It's a step down, and probably hear background noise right now. It's terrible. It's not what you think. All of the students are pretty active in their own sort of way. They're just like a kid, with like rocket rocket uh wheelchair just hauling anus down the down the halls <laughs> if out of you like 10 people that probably end up gonna watch this if you are some kind of artist please uh, just please just draw that i just want to see like some kind of cripple kid with a rocket wheelchair that's probably on the internet somewhere I'm gonna, I'm gonna look that up. I'm gonna see if I can find it and put it as thumbnail. Which I probably won't. I'll probably just use the same thumbnail. Um, actually, I got a new thumbnail because I think I've made my mind up with uh, which route I'm gonna take, so I might put it up as. By the time that this goes up, I will have. Um... Are you done? Thank you. Um, by the time this goes up, I'll make my uh, mind up on which route I uh, uh, wanted to take, so that'll probably end up being a thumbnail. It's, it's generated towards students that can still get around and learn, but they just need a little help in one way or another. Just, I'm sorry if there's anybody crippled watching this. I'm, I'm very sorry, but... It's like some kid with like a arm, his arm is like flopping around. He's just like, I can't, I can't write. You need to write this, and this is terrible. Your father's right, and many of the graduates of this school have gone on to do amazing things. Prison doesn't have to be held back by their disabilities. One of those guys was Usain Bolt. Yeah, you heard. Totally true. Usain Bolt come from a video game about crippled people and uh, socially awkward his how. One of my colleagues is in another hospital as a graduate. Uh, one of those things like, I have a girlfriend in Canada. Yeah, that's her. Yeah, and you wouldn't know her. Yeah. Is that is that like one of those things that the doctor's trying to do right now? Because that'd be pretty funny. And it's getting to the time I'm going to have to restart the recording, so I'll probably just end up doing that right now. Uh, Alright, my restart, my rest, I restarted my recording. Um, let's get on with it. I don't care. A person doesn't have to be held back by their disabilities. That's what a disability is. I really hate that something so important was decided for me. But what I, but what can I do about it? A normal life is out the, is out of the question now. So he's just like looking so down at this. He's I, I don't I don't like how his house looking at this. 
it's funny, I had I had always thought my life was actually kind of boring, but now I miss it. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Hey, so why don't you just say these things? Like, just say, I want to go back to my old school. Screw you. I, I, don't, I don't get it. That sounds a really strange person. I wanted to protest. I wanted to blame this lack of reaction of shock or fatigue. I could easily yell out a, a yell out something right now, something about how I, can, how I can go back to my school anyway. But no, see, he's he's talking himself out of these things. He's just like, why doesn't he just do it? I don't say anything. The fact is, I know that it's that it's futile. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's how. That's how. I look around the room, feeling very tired of all of this. The hospitals, doctors, my condition, everything. I don't see anything that would make me feel any different. Again, I don't know what the rules on this channel are, but I'm going to make a joke. Alright, Hissau, take off your pants. <laughs> I'm sorry. There really isn't a choice, I know this, but the thought of going to a disabled school. What are those even like? As much as I try to put a positive spin on this, it's very difficult. I can see how. But let but let me try. Alright. A clean slate a clean I'm gonna try that again. A clean slate isn't a bad thing. That is all I can think of to get me through this. At least I ha I still have something, even if it's a special school. Why is that put in quotes? I, I can say I can actually I see why it's put in quotes but it seems like it I don't know it's something it's a fresh start and my life isn't over it would be a mistake just to resign myself from thinking that hmm I see where he's coming from now but just a minute y'all I wanted to just start yelling like no no mom no at the very least, at the very least, I'll try to see what my new life will look like. I, I just probably shouldn't be a pause there. All right. Ooh. I don't think there is this how. Yay. Life expectancy. Hmm. Oh, you're getting some music here. The gate looked far too pom uh, pompous for what it for what it is. In fact, gates in general seem to do that, but this one especially. Well, I just notice these little things. Uh, you're probably like wondering, it's like this is the first time he's ever done that. But in the uh, later on. I'm not gonna try spoiling anything, but later on, he just see, he's always like pointing out random stuff. He's like, that staircase, that stair has a circle on it. Ah, it's really weird. Red brick, uh, red, red bricks, black worn, uh, warrant, is that warrant, 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 wart. Wrote? Oh no. Nope. Oh. Whoa. What? No. What? I, I don't know what I just did there. Alright. Alright. Iron and gray plaster is assembled into a... Into a... 
assemble into a whole that didn't feel welcoming at, at all. I wonder... I wondered if it looked like what a gate for a school shouldn't look like. That's, that's weird. But couldn't really decide. Probably no. Stop talking about the gate! Just move on! Of course I didn't want to get stuck on thinking about the gate. Yes! I just said that! So I entered through and it, it entered through it in a brisk pace that felt surprisingly good. What? Also, it looks like that gate just leads into a grass area when there's right over there is like a... You, you can't see my mouse because I don't have it selected. But um, to the left side you can see a concrete walkway but right through the gate is just grass. <laughs> you had one job. Okay, let's move on. And also, how does walking through a gate feel good? Did he just, like, walk through it and just, like... I don't know. I'm moving on. Moving forward feels good. Like, moving through a gate feels really good. Like being born again. <laughs> if it's small gate, I guess... Yeah, I'm not gonna go into that. So I walked towards the main building of Yamaku Academy. With this brisk pace, I'm alone as my parents are taking my stuff to my dorms and there's supposed to be someone waiting for me just some guy creepy guy sitting on a bench the ground the grounds are incredibly lush filled with green just green paint everywhere it's terrible It doesn't feel like the kind of grounds a school would have. More like a park with a clean walkway. Going past trees and the smell of fresh cut grass. And all other park like things. We're not reading a book. We can see what it looks like. We don't really need his how to explain it. Do we? Uh, words like clean and hygienic pop into my mind uh, makes me shudder okay just I shake them off stay open minded it's your new life you have to take it as it is as it comes I was about to say as it is but as it comes that's what I tell myself you strong you brave A few big buildings loom behind the leafy canopies. Too big and too many for just a school. Why why does he why does he care about the number of trees? D does it, is his house heart the only problem? Is he just like does he does he have like a mental problem? Like if he walks into someone's room he like he, he just has to point out everything. And also, I'm going to have to start the recording. Uh, I did notice in the YouTube video that uh, it was... Um, I think it's called Letterboxed. Or, I don't know. I don't think it's Letterboxed. I don't know what it's called. But, um, it, it does have enough room for a face cam to be put in. So, I might do a face cam for this last part. Um, I'm not going to promise anything. But, I'll be back. Alright guys, I'm back. Uh, tried to do face cam, but uh, there was some problems, so we're not going to do face cam. Um, I do have a face cam rig set up, so maybe next time? Probably not, but maybe next time? Alright, let's move on. Everything seems off. It's different from what I thought I knew about schools. It's an uncanny valley, even though I wasn't told this is my new school. In the back of my head, it doesn't feel like one. It's just, he's visiting an old friend. Or just 
an old friend in a very new house. I don't know what I'm talking about. I wonder if the feeling is real or caused by my expectations of a school for the disabled. He's just expecting wheelchair ramps everywhere. I don't know why I go to wheelchair ramps every time I think of disabled people. That's, that's, that's probably a bad thing. I don't know. I'm just going to move on. I'm sorry. Speaking of that, I don't see anyone else here. It's kind of eerie. His house is just going to get raped. It makes me wish there was somebody here so I could anchor myself to something tangible instead of having this feeling. I stepped uh, That I stepped into another dimension. The trees hum with wind and the green hue f hues flashing all around me catch my attention. That he just notices just why is he does he have a mind of a squirrel? Or that dog from up that's just like it's just like sitting there talking there's a squirrel I don't know what I don't know what I I I went full retard there for a minute. I'm sorry. I can't, I can't, I shouldn't be making these jokes because I'm playing a, I'm playing a game about a disabled guy going to a, di a school for disabled people. I need to stop making these jokes. Makes me think about hospitals again and how they are, how, how they say that the operating rooms aren't painted green because are painted green because green is a common color. I don't like the color green. So why am I feeling so anxious despite the greenery? Here's <laughs> how. Only after I stand in front of the hauntingly main uh, haunting. Uh, uh, that's not hauntingly because there's no L. Is that a mistype? I don't know. A haunting main building. I surprised myself by realizing why the gate bothered me. <laughs> why does the gate bother you? Why do the trees bother you? It's just weird. It was the last chance I had to turn back. Even if I had no life I could return to. But still, after entering... There was absolutely no way I could go back anymore. He could just walk back out the... <laughs> he could walk back out the uh, troublesome gate. Feeling nervous with his realization set in my head, I opened the front door. A tall man with bad posture noticed me as I entered. We're the only people in the lobby. It's... it's so it's only logical. What should I give him as voice? Um, uh, you must be... No, that's the doctor's voice. Which we're probably never going to see him again. So it doesn't really matter. You must be... Nai... Naki? Um, is it Naki? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say Naki. I'm sorry. Uh, Naki. So you are. Excellent. I'm your homeroom and science teacher. My name is Muto. Welcome. We exchange a handshake that is neither firm nor sloppy. He looks at his watch. The head nurse asked, uh, asked you for a brief check-in visit, but there's no time for that now. We do. Oh, I'm sorry, I was going to make a terrible Back to the Future reference, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, oh, should I go later? Yes, afternoon is probably fine. You should get going and introduce yourself to the rest of the class. Uh, they're waiting already. Waiting for me? I don't really like being the center of attention, but I guess it's... Um, uh, Invertible situation. Ah, blah, blah, blah. Somehow knowing what it, uh, what is waiting for me makes me feel very nervous. Thinking this, I almost miss what the teacher is saying. 
Do you want to introduce yourself to the class? Mm. Hmm. I feel like I should. But his house heart will probably explode. Why? Why? Do I have to? Of course not. That's why I asked. Right. Let's go then. My heart is pounding in my chest. It keeps me from thinking about... It keeps me thinking about my condition as I follow the teacher up the stairs. The third door down. The third floor... It, the third door down, the third floor corridor is marked as a classroom for, uh, is marked as, is marked as the classroom for three, dash three. There we go. <laughs> Mewtwo opens the door and enters. You just... <laughs> I was gonna make a Doctor Who reference. I'm just full of references that are just gonna explode out. I should I should make an episode and just call it references and I just make crappy references to everything everybody says. Good morning uh, everyone. Sorry, I'm late again. So he's late all the time. So look at that picture. What is that picture supposed to be? That is the ugliest picture I've ever seen in my life. I'm sorry the art designers that made this game. I really like your game and I really like I really like the art in the game, but that is just ugly. <laughs> I hesitate for a split second at the door, freezing on the spot. Ah, get a grip. This is your big step. I know that. But there isn't any point to worrying so much about it. At least not not this soon. Oh, nice. I follow the teacher in the classroom and look around, partially so I won't have to meet the curious gaze of my new classmates. Hmm. I'm gonna try to... What's her disability? Uh, you can't see my mouse, but, uh... Hmm. Oh, there's, um... I, I see two people I know in this. I see, uh... I think her name is Miki. She's like the all the way to the right on the first row. And uh, Hanako, um, the uh, the I, I I'm sorry. I'm not gonna even try to explain where they're at. I I think I missed that text there. Oh no, I got it. It's pretty spacious. The ceiling is unusually high and there's a lot of space left over around around in between the desks. An entire wall taken up by blackboards and a high old fashioned windows only make it seem larger. The students' desks are in a standard room or standard wooden desk with a shelf underneath for books and wooden chairs with metal frames and simple and simple and efficient. Alright guys, I'm gonna end this here. Um, uh, I'm gonna probably record some more. But, thanks for watching and I will see you in the future. I need an upgrade.